What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantis. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash the subscribe button. Today we are in my 2002 Saab 93 convertible and if you haven't watched the previous video, we were kind of going into spring summer prep mode with this car because it's kind of sitting in the garage for the majority of the last uh, six months and uh, you know we want to make sure everything is running and there's a couple things wrong and we've developed a little bit of an exhaust leak and uh, so in the last video we kind of just went through everything and in this video we're gonna go head over to the parts store if you can hear that exhaust and fix up that exhaust leak that's happening on one of the joints between the center muffler and the rear muffler so it should be pretty quick hopefully to repair and uh, hop into it and show you what I do. Stay tuned. Alright guys, after reviewing this further, this, this metal here is really in tough shape, so I'm going to uh, cut this bracket off here and see if we can try to repair this as best as possible. So let's rock into it. All right guys, moment of truth. Let's see if that thing's leaking. Sounds much better on the startup, but <clears throat> let's see how, that, see how long this lasts. I don't believe it's the best patch job or work job that we could have done. So cross our fingers and see what happens here. But we don't have any exhaust coming from there, it sounds like. solid and quiet down here at the moment that is I'll probably end up bringing that to the shop, have it done right. I'm not too confident in that, but it is what it is. Just let that idle for a little while and uh, should be good. All right, boys, so the, the end result is that it sounds much better, but it ain't gonna hold, so I'm taking it over to the shop right now. It seems like the way the muffler was sitting and resting on the center exhaust pipe over some time and vibration, it kind of just rusted through the metal since it wasn't in there properly, I guess. I'm not too sure, but regardless, I'll have them fix it. It's pretty easy for them to uh, rejoin the two pipes with no issues, so. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that. I think in the next episode what I'm gonna do is get under there under there again and just properly uh, uh, Treat some of the rust surfaces uh, Before they get really bad and you know rust through some of the major metal components that are back there on the rear axle And then of course spray down the exhaust try to see if we can save it from rusting through as well And that's about it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video upload update on this exhaust scenario not that big of a deal thankfully and uh next up is 
after all this is trying to figure out that axle that we talked about on the last video. Uh, I think I think it's the inside CV shaft that goes into the transmission. Uh, those do tend to go bad on these things, and I suspect that could be part of the issue. Um, we'll see. I'll, we'll get into that as well at, uh, in a further video. But anyways, follow me on Instagram at Kyle Pantsis if you haven't already. And of course, uh, smash the subscribe button below if you haven't done that yet. And of course, always welcome to some comments. So if I can help in the comment section or reply to you guys, happy to do so there as well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next video.